tuning in i am nicola of nicola w makes um i wanted to come on today obviously i've not done any videos for, for a week or two now um so i just wanted to come on really just to have a bit of a chat um we've got we're in the middle of a pandemic as uh, as most of the people will be aware it's a worldwide pandemic in the uk we've just shut schools down um so as of tomorrow we will be homeschooling and myself and Stephen will be working from home. I have mentioned before that I suffer with anxiety and it's been a really hard couple of weeks for me. Um, I'm really, really struggling to keep it calm. Um, be strong, I find I'm being strong in the daytime for Lewis and then I'm struggling at night time um, once I feel like I can relax. Because of that, I've not really done much sewing for the last week or so. But it's Mother's Day today, it's Sunday, it's a beautiful day outside. Um, what better thing to do than to stick myself in my sewing room and, and enjoy a little bit of motivation that I seem to have found today. Um, I've got a few pieces on going. I want to try, really want to try and get this jumpsuit, this play suit done, although it looks like my holiday is going to be cancelled anyway. But at least if we do get some nice days in the summer in Scotland, then I know the few and far between. But at least then I'll have something nice to wear that I've made myself. Um, apart from that, I think I'm going to do some quilting. I also think I've got my design wall behind me on the wall and I think I'm going to take that down for the next couple of months because I feel like I'm putting a bit of pressure on myself. Every time I come in here, I can see them hanging up, the, the quilts that I'm still working on hanging up there. Um, and I'm worried I'm putting a wee bit too much pressure on myself to try and get things finished. So I think I'm going to take that down until we go back to work, until we're in a bit more of a normal routine. Um, I'm very anxious about work tomorrow, working from home and trying to teach Lewis. I feel like I'm putting an awful lot of pressure on myself. I have made an appointment to speak to a mental health nurse because I think it's really important at times like these that everybody's very aware of how they're feeling and how it's affecting them. Um, and ultimately me and Stephen need to be strong for Lewis. So, so that's my plan. So today I've actually, I, I can't even hold it up properly because I've got it on, it's still in my sewing machine. I'm working on the Sophia play suit made with this fabric from the So Haley Jane's January box. Um, it's been an absolute dream to work with. It's a wee bit slippy, but it's been an absolute dream so far to work with. Um, I'll hopefully pop on later and have a bit of a chat about um, how I'm feeling. Um, I do a lot of so a lot of my sewing is really to help my mental health, and it's a bit of mindfulness for me, and to show you what I've achieved. Um, so I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. Hi, I'm back. So I've made a thing. I'm just going to turn you a bit so you'll be able to see me more when I stand back. I am absolutely delighted with this. Um, I would say that the waistband was really quite tricky to get right. Um, and I'm probably going to, it does say you can put um, like a hand sewing popper in. And I probably will do that just because I've got quite big boobs. Um, just to kind of keep them a bit more sheltered in. But I'm really, really delighted. I probably should have made a twirl for it the first time rather than going straight in with this fabric. Um, but even, you know, even if it's just for in the house or with a pair of black tights, I'll be able to wear it this summer, hopefully, in Scotland. We'll just need to see what happens. Um, I definitely feel a lot more positive now. I've had an hour in the sewing room. Stephen's took Lewis out. Um, there's some AstroTurf pitches quite near our house, which are no longer used. Um, and we'll be quiet and empty today so Stephen's taking those for a game of football in them um, obviously we're doing this social distancing so he's not getting out to play with his friends or anything and is just a little bundle of energy so hopefully they'll not be too long um, and obviously if it's quiet at these football pitches they'll get a good runabout, a good kick about um, and we just need to take each day as it comes at the minute I'm really glad I made this video I'm really glad I took the time to come and chat with you um, if I make anything else throughout the rest of the day, I will come on and show you or I'll pop some pictures here. Um, but thank you for watching. We will all get through this together. We just need to follow get government guidance and hopefully it will be over a bit sooner than what they're predicting at the minute. Um, it's really important. Please share the message to look after, after those that you love and look after your mental as well as your physical health. Um, for people who are on their own during this isolation, I'm very aware that it's going to be a long old slog keep talking to your friends keep talking to your families send me a message if you're watching this and, and you feel like you're struggling and you just want someone to chat to i'm more than happy to sit and chat through messenger or instagram dm me nicola w makes on instagram 
Um, I think it's very important this time. Um, the sword community is quite a nice, close-knit community. Everyone, ev anyway, and everyone kind of there to help themselves. But I think now more than ever, we need to look after each other and love each other. So if you like what you see, please do subscribe or f come and find me on Instagram. As I say, I'm always here to for, for a chat or a friendly year. See you later. See you soon. Bye.